Do you hate paying full price for software? Well, this video sponsor has you covered. YourCityKeys.com offers discounts on all the latest PC titles and even better discounts on Windows 10 and Office Pro licenses. You can validate your copy of Windows or stop using that annoying open source version of Office for a fraction of the price of buying them retail. You can even bundle Windows 10 and Office for even further savings. Use coupon code TJ20 at checkup to save 20% more. Links as always are in the description. See, I have a problem, a real problem. Appreciate your, uh, you know, niceness about the audio quality because I'm just running off the camera. But when I see numbers like this during the day, I get cold a little bit, but then I think, how can we do a computer? How can we do a computer, okay? So I'll take you in a little journey. What is with this? See, I have a problem. I have a I don't know what it is, but when I see minus 21 outside, when I see that, I don't think, brr, I think, how can I overclock a computer with this temperature? Oh, minus 21 degrees, right? Oh, so the wires are running out the window. I got the Elgato capturing it down here. That wire <laughs> is a switch. There's outside, okay? The computer's sitting right here. You can't see it though. I wish I thought it would be cool if you could see it, but what do you do? Here's the Elgato software. And will it turn on? <laughs> I'm gonna think it did. I just saw the lights flicker a bit. And we'll know in about 10 seconds whether the computer turned on that's been outside for about 25 minutes now at minus 21. Had made it through to the test bench in where I've got set up a capturing station so we can overclock the Dickens out of a minus 20 computer. But we're kind of blind and this thing takes forever to post. So we'll see if it works. I'm worried that it's not going to and that I'm gonna break something. And then I'm gonna get in trouble because that's not my computer. <laughs> Might have to buy it. <gasps> yes! <laughs> Oh no, wrong. Did we make it in the BIOS? Yes, we did. <laughs> so we have, I should have changed the memory frequency. Damn it. She took some memory out of it. Oh well. So this is the 16 core uh, 2950X Threadripper with 64 gigs of RAM in it that I couldn't overclock very far before. And I'm wondering, <laughs> motherboard minus 11, CPU temperature plus 3. <laughs> so we're going to try and overclock the Dickens out of this, the 4.4 gigahertz. CPU, I went into DIGI power controls, I wanted to set low line calibration level 7. CPU current capability, 120. All right. VD sock line calibration, level 8. We're going to give this 1.48 volts because I'm crazy. 2, 4. Changes and reset. <laughs> All right, I'm cold. Let's check uh, 4.3 gigahertz. No problems. What's the temperatures at? Where's the package temperature? 8, 7. Let's see if we can't run Cinebench at this load. Ooh, hey. <laughs> 45 degree package temperature. <laughs> and it didn't work. Oh, it did! 3,000! <laughs> so I already broke my 3,500 record by like a good decent amount. Cinebench set priority real time. Heck yes. And. We're back down to minus six, or uh, sorry, four, three, two, one on the package. <laughs> there we go. All right. Let's see. Will this complete? 
The worst part is I can't tell if the computer is shutting off or what. There's just a little dangling wire that I can turn it off and turn it back on if I want to. Boom! Ha! 3580! Holy shit! <laughs> Woo! We're gonna go 4.4 gigahertz next. Here, we'll go 4. And with th this all set, I'll just bump it up one. Yeah. Quit without saving? No, we definitely want to save. Save, changes, and reset. Temperature. 10, 9, 8. <laughs> CPU. Oh man, a package temperature of 4650. This is going to work. <laughs> it's going to work. Oh man, we just ran a Cinebench at 436. Holy shit, this is awesome. It's going to go further. Get the main course here. This is so much better than doing it in my garage. Thirty-six sixty-seven. Oh. oh man, and it looks like it's not even skipping a beat. This is so cool. Maybe oh, <laughs> thirty-six seventy-eight. Have you ever seen such Cinebench scores? All right, well, 4.5 gigahertz on, like, is that achievable? We are at 4.4 gigahertz, and all I could do was I did a BIOS update, removed four of the DIMMs. I got the memory running at 2830 something, I believe. Um, with, it's just crap memory. It would be much faster if I could get some 3200 speed or something in there, because uh, it's only CL8 or 16 or whatever. So, but what do you got? You got to work with what you got, right? And we've already done a Cinebench pull at 4.4 gigahertz, and it worked. But I've been having trouble. With, anything over that and I had to bring the computer in and warm it up and update the BIOS and then you know tweak a little bit of stuff I'm just hoping I get one mad cine pull right here where it doesn't blank out please make her happen captain we have 1.5 volts we have 4.4 gigahertz 2833 speed memory oh my god it's gonna finish 3657 all right 3657 that's Probably our best yet. I don't know if that we did a little bit better earlier, but I would imagine that's uh, the best we've done so far. So if we do this set priority real time, will it run again? Uh, I want to. Oh, I want that speed. That yeah. Th we're gonna say actually just do this. Oh man, this is so cool. Let's look at the temperatures and stuff too. Oh, oh. Tasky manager will set the details of the Cinebench to priority real time. Yeah, close this. Right now we've got two, 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 eight, six, and nine on the package nodes. Pitch is benign, six and nine, three degrees. We're ready, brah. We're ready. You ready? I'm ready for a maximum of 3,700. It's not going to happen, but. I'm imagining it won't even finish, but we'll cross our fingies. We'll cross our fingies. Ugh. Really? Really? It didn't finish. 3657. That's as far as we got. 3657. I don't know, there might have been a better one when I ran it in real time, 4.4 uh, before I tweaked all the RAM and stuff, but this is the kind of content you get here at Timmy Joe's Palace of Wonderland and Icy Crystals, and uh, we're going to be overclocking as long as it's minus 20 outside, just all kinds of computer hardware. Maybe some old stuff, which would make a hell of a lot more sense than a borrowed Threadripper $3,000 computer, but man. I gotta thank y'all for coming. My Matt, watch to me join Instagram and Twitter. I have a Patreon, and I'm going to see yes. 
and all this good stuff. Um, you know, just to mention all that stuff, thanks to sponsors. But today on the program, I was going to review the cooler that was on the Threadripper so I could get that out of the way. But when it says minus 20 outside and I'm here at my office and it's a nice clear day out where it's not snowing or anything, I get weird ideas in my head. And that's what you get when you come here. 30, 3657 in Cinebench, my dogs. I'll see you guys in another video. What? Have a good day. And for all you skeptics out there, it's been in here for about an hour. Just gonna turn it on. EGA code. Oh! Let's try that again. Oh, there we go. Woo! Yeah, see? No problem, dog. Let's get this over with. 